How are we doing? Meteorologist Steve Fandera here. Uh, we've got a warm stretch of weather over the next couple of days, and this evening, as a result of that, we've got some fog to develop. Already seeing a few areas of patchy fog because the temperatures have dropped down to right where the dew point is. Dew points have been in the upper 40s. Uh, those two values, they get close together. You basically get saturation in the atmosphere, and you get a cloud to form right on the ground. When that's the case, you got a half mile visibility in a Husky and a few uh, spots of fog down along the Outer Banks and along the Outer Mile Sound there. So do anticipate fog to just increase as we go into the night tomorrow morning we'll likely have some lowered visibility keep that in mind if you're up early doing anything uh if you got the day off taking care of any errands or, th or things like that a very similar day to what we had today we'll see some fog in the morning and it may be stubborn through about 10 11 a.m before uh, slowly clearing and we get a bit of some blue sky in the afternoon to make it feel nice i mean temperatures are going to be up near 60 degrees in most locations some of that warmer milder air from the south still stuck in place for the next couple of days so we're really starting the new year uh, on a comfortable note here it's going to feel more like a spring than it does january for sure there will be some stubborn fog in northeast north carolina closer to the waterways uh, temps are going to generally be near 60 degrees for most locations around the waterways that's likely where the fog will be most stubborn throughout the day but i think as we go into the afternoon we'll slowly carve out some sunshine and it will be a nice day a similar case on tuesday with some i think more fog likely uh, and a bit more cloud coverage streaming in generally though a nice day and dry before rain chances return by the middle of the week this comes in with the cold front and this is going to switch things up big time ahead of the approaching cold front we're going to have a warm breeze temperatures potentially up near 70 degrees but the front will then drop in some scattered showers maybe even a rumble of thunder we'll keep an eye on that there's a bigger threat for severe weather out towards the south and west of us tomorrow and then on tuesday as the front front progresses to the east as of now the trend has the severe weather threat to our south on wednesday but we'll keep an eye on it future track has things generally quiet outside of the fog for tomorrow morning a little bit of sun in the afternoon you see it kind of carving out there more fog by tuesday morning with also some more cloud coverage filtering in up top but it will be uh, nice and warm temps in the mid 60s late night hours roll around on tuesday there's some spotty showers developing on the radar close by and that will be ahead of the approaching front which generally brings the showers and maybe rumble the thunder on the second half of wednesday we'll fine tune the timing of said forecast as we get a little bit closer to uh, the arrival of the front but what it's also going to do is create that roller coaster ride of weather temperatures are going to drop off it brings back the colder air lows return to the 30s thursday night highs return to the 40s on Friday. Drier air though, so it'll come with some sunshine into the weekend, but uh, feeling way different than it does over the next couple of days. All right, we'll have more in your forecast coming up later on on Fox 43, 10 o'clock, and then after the football game on NBC, we'll catch you there.